The beauty of snowstorms and blizzards like we had yesterday is that the day after with blue skies, it's just a spectacular, crisp experience, which is why so many people moved to Montana. In the Haftorah of this week, which was my brother Yochanan's Bar Mitzvah Parsha, so I remember it from back when I was eight and nine years old, him practicing the words in the, king, in the book of Malachim, the book of Kings, Im l'lekim l'chuach harav. Elijah, the prophet Elio, says to the Jewish people serving the Baal, either choose God or choose Baal. Ad moset em poischem asipim, until when are you going to live a double life? Until when are you going to have double allegiance? And there's an incredible talk, a foundational talk from the Rebbe all the way back in the 50s at the beginning of his leadership where the Rebbe addressed this and said it seems like Elijah is saying it's almost better if you serve idols, straight up idols, straight up idolatry, which obviously is a worse sin than living a double life, than actually living a double life. And he explains it as follows. Someone that serves idols is generally someone that seeks the truth. And because they believe that the truth is now with this idol, they go away from Hashem, they go away from God and serve the idol. But they're truth seekers. And the good news about truth seekers is that once you put them on the right path, once you educate them about the, the negativity of their ways, because they're seek truthers, uh, truth seekers, they come back and then they serve Hashem with full zest and enthusiasm. The people that live double lives, double allegiances, two-faced, they want to serve God and serve the Baal. A, they're obviously not truth seekers because they're playing it on all fronts and they're hoping that they'll get something from this and something from that. Maybe they'll have some benefit from serving idols on the side. So they're obviously not into truth. They're into self-aggrandizement and personal benefit. But furthermore, because they're not truth seekers, their path to tshuva is almost impossible. Because when does a person do tshuva? When does a person repent? The person repents when they see the wrong of their ways, when they feel bad and regret their ways. And an idolater will feel that because he's a truth seeker. But someone living a double life who has allegiances both to God and to other idols, they don't feel bad because whatever you'll tell them, they say, but yeah, I never stopped believing in God. So I'm not so bad after all. Therefore, their chance of doing true, authentic, unadulterated tshuva, repentance and return to God is much, much harder and almost impossible. And that's what Elijah was telling them. Make a choice. Who do you have allegiance to? If it's to God, let it be to God with all your fi- with every fiber of your being. With all your heart, with all your soul, with all your might. And if your allegiance is to Baal, go all, Baal, to Baal, go all the way with Baal, because at least then you can one day come home. But if you're trying to do it all at the same time, trying to be one of those double, two-faced, double identity, double allegiance Jews doesn't work and your path home will be a lot harder so let's make a decision today Parshas Kisisa and the and the Haftarah of this week to have one allegiance and one allegiance only and only and that is to Almighty God L'chaim L'vracha see you later